group exercises 4A and these provide an introduction to um, MSP. Um, very simple introduction to begin with. We're just uh, you know, beginning with some a, a few kind of critical objects, um, and I shall use these to point out a few differences between Max and MSP. Um, namely, we are now dealing not just with what, what we might call control information, which we deal with in in Max, which is where uh, we're sending <coughs> information, let's say, in a perhaps musical way, well, musical information, when things are supposed to start, when they're supposed to stop, um, uh, what notes, for example, to play, um, and, uh, um, well, you can, you, can, you can compare it with a, a MIDI sequencer, for example. It's that kind of information that's being sent, uh, event by event data. Um, <clears throat> and usually you'll find that when you send a, a, a message to uh, an object in... Let's make a print object here. When we send a message, that message is sent once. Okay, so bang isn't continuously being sent. Once it's being, um, once I've clicked this button object here, the message is sent from there to the print object, and it's it's done. That's that's what it's you know been asked to do. It's done it once. That's it. That is the max um, kind of model, if you like. MSP um, works slightly differently because we're dealing with different kind of data. Um, here we're dealing with well signal processing, so um, signal data, um, and that because that works in a different way, uh, it requires us to think about the kind of data transfer in a slightly different way. Um, <clears throat> and there are certain uh, differences in the objects and the means of. Uh, not so much in the means of connecting them, but in the connections themselves, uh, which are uh, which are relevant to that difference or that kind of show that difference. You'll notice well, there are two differences really. Um, one of them is that all MSP objects have uh, this tilde after the name. So if I make, for example, well, if I unlock patch and make cycle, you'll notice that cycle. There are two types of cycle object. One of them is a, a max object and the other one is an MSP object. To get the MSP object I need to put in a tilde um, and if you're unfamiliar, I'm not sure where it is on a PC, I have to confess, but you'll have to find it on your keyboard. I think it's somewhere over on the right hand side on a PC. But on a Mac it's on uh, just to the left of the Z button. So if you press shift and then the, uh, the, the tilde button you come up with the, the squiggle. And the squiggle of course denotes a waveform. Um, so uh, so now if I, if I come out of that, that is now an MSP object. <clears throat> um, so that's one difference. And then, of course, the other difference, which you can see over here, is the connection type. Uh, rather than being a black line, it is a black and yellow, slightly thicker, um, stripy line. Um, more fundamentally, uh, the difference is in the type of data that's being sent and the speed at which it's spent, sent and the regularity at which it's sent. So the data being sent is, uh, we've talked before about the different types of uh, message in Max. Uh, we've said we can have a number and, a, well, an integer and a float, a bang message, we can have a symbol and we can have a list. Uh, but um, MSP doesn't deal with anything other than floating point. So it's always dealing with um, numbers, but they are always floating point numbers. Uh, the second difference is that you can only send one of these things at a time. You can't have more than one stream of data going at once, so it's always one number that's being sent. And by that same token, it means that you will, each of your channels, if you like, or each audio stream will need to have its own audio line. So in this case, what we have is an SF play object, which is a um, a playback object. I'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, but it has two outlets: one for the uh, channel one, and another for channel two. Well, we're dealing with stereos, so we can think of these as being left and right channels. Um, and those are going into independent uh, inputs of the digital audio converter, which is DAC. Um, <clears throat> and so you have two separate streams routed to two separate outputs on your sound card, which is essentially what's happening here. Again, I'll talk more about the DAC uh, in a minute. 
Um, so that's the uh, second main, main difference. And then the third thing, I talked about the regularity of messages being sent. With Max, uh, uh, again, going back to this business of, of clicking on a, a message and that message being sent um, once. If I, of course, if I t attach it to a Metro object, um, then it will, oops, sorry, I don't quite know what happened there. Try again, Metro. Um, if I, even if I have it, say it, outputting at 10 milliseconds, So it, it will be sending much, much, much more regularly, but it will still be outputting only when the Metro tells it to. And when I switch off the Metro, then it will stop sending messages, although you can't see it here. You just stop see, seeing this flashing, I suppose. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's, uh, Max will only send messages when you tell it to. MSP, however, will be sending data all the time, and it will be sending it very, very quickly. It deals with... Um, signal rate or sample rate uh, which of course will be 44,100 messages per second if your sample rate is 44,100 times a second but basically the sample rate is, 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 is much much quicker the messages are being sent much quicker and they are being sent all the time and because of that uh, there is an awful lot of data being sent and so CPU load is a great deal higher um, and the signal processing is not happening all the time. Uh, unlike with Max, where you with, with Max you lock a patch in order to um, to get it to play back. Uh, with MSP, you even when it's locked, it may not be sending data. So um, let's say if I if I connect this cycle object up to a gain and then out of a DAC Oops. I can lock the patch and I can turn the volume up uh, actually we wouldn't hear anything anyway because I haven't specified a, a, a speed ok so it's cycle will give me an oscillation at 440 hertz we won't get any sound out of that at all because I haven't turned on the audio in order to hear sound I need to turn the audio on now we hear sound um, <clears throat> so in order to conserve CPU I suppose um, and so that your computer isn't chugging away the entire time processing audio you can turn audio off which we will do now um, so you need to remember that if you're not getting any sound out there is a chance that your audio isn't on and you can turn the audio on by a variety of means you can either go to this DSP status window you saw how I got that up go to the options menu and choose DSP status or um, there, are, there are ways of, of um, uh, getting objects in, the, in your Max window to uh, control that. So in this case I've got a toggle going to the DAC, tilde object, and that is when I turn that on, audio turned on, and I can turn it off like that. Or if I were to use a, um, an easy DAC, so easy DAC, which you will also find in the palette, there you go, you've got um, a button which will control the audio as well, so I can use it to turn the audio on and off. This too, incidentally, has two inlets, one for left, one for right, or channel one, channel two. So that is a, a very sort of broad and hopefully not too confusing introduction to MSP. There are differences, um, and obviously we'll, we'll talk more about those as we go on.